Look, I'm not one to get in the way of mockery of Mitch McConnell or McCarthy, but this is clearly a political stunt. During a congressional gold medal ceremony for the January 6th Capitol Police, representatives of those receiving the awards shake hands with Schumer and then snub McConnell and McCarthy. And we're gonna get right into that, but first, give me just 30 seconds to tell you about this free silver coin offer from Noble Gold. 2022 has shown us what might be coming. So if you're sick of everything being so expensive and the threat of recession hanging over our head constantly, it's time to take action. A precious metal IRA uses tax advantage gold and silver to keep inflation at bay and give you protection from financial nightmares. And you'll get a stunning free three ounce silver American virtue coin when you open a qualifying IRA account this month. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold Investments. So call 877-646-5347 to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. And remember, there is always a risk of loss and past performance is not indicative of future results. really starting to dislike these Capitol Police. They seem like purely partisan actors. I'm not a fan of McConnell or McCarthy, but this is clearly a political stunt orchestrated by Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi, and they've involved the Capitol Police in it. That is a disgrace. This entire stunt is just as strange as what transpired on January the 6th. Like I've talked about before, there had been inauguration riots before after Democrats lost elections, and especially during Trump's inauguration. But if you look at news footage from that occurrence, you'll find that they had actually blocked off the center of the Capitol. Why didn't they do that during the January 6th protest? In fact, they seemed to just let all these people in, get them to come up to the Capitol steps with the help of people like Ray Epps, who was actually directing people into the Capitol. Yet somehow, strangely, he was never arrested or charged with anything. More confounding than that, even though the media hates January 6th rioters, for some reason, they've turned Ray Epps into a victim. Then the Capitol Police let people in, most of which just walked around, stayed within velvet ropes, and then left quietly. Those people, conversely, are hunted down by the FBI and prosecuted. Yes, there were scuffles with the Capitol riot police, but they didn't reach any level that we hadn't seen many, many times over the years from left-wing mobs. And that's another issue I have with this entire thing. What is this gold medal ceremony, and why are they giving medals to these Capitol Police? And I ask this because for years we watched left-wing Democrat incited mobs tear through cities, burn them down, attack people, attack motorists, and yes, ambush and murder police officers. In the end, there were over 2,000 police injured and around a dozen murdered. Based on that, I have several questions. Where was the gold medal ceremony for all the police injured in those riots? And for that matter, why weren't Democrats ever called out for inciting those riots? Most of which were based on myths like hands up, don't shoot, and the idea that Jacob Blake had done nothing to justify the police shooting, which turned out to be completely justified. Another issue I have with this is Officer Sicknick's brother showing up to this event to add fuel to the fire. I mean, people like, people like Louis Gomez, who presented an American flag that was flown over the Capitol to a January 6th rioter and told them they were a patriot. It's disgusting. Except this isn't true, and the woman that Sicknick is smearing here entered the premises peacefully with everybody else that was let in, stood around, delivered a speech, and then left. Takes away everything my brother's done. Takes away my bro like the, the heroism my brother showed. You know, you don't think you don't think they deserve a handshake in this context? No. And you probably recognize that name because Officer Sicknick died a day after the riots of natural causes. 
Yes, that's right. So there was an autopsy done and it showed that he died of natural causes. There was actually no evidence of blunt force trauma. But that never stopped the media or Democrats from continuing to claim that he died as a result of the riots. Even that NPR article I showed you earlier, it claims right in there that Brian Sicknick was killed as a result of violence from the riot. Even Sicknick's own mother is being used by the Democrats to spread outright lies. Because unlike Bush Cheney, they have no idea what integrity is. They can't stand up for what's right and wrong. Well, it's no, with them it's party first. This is something Sicknick's family has been in on from the beginning. And it's really strange to hear him talk and talk about how McConnell and McCarthy are just party first when literally everything he's doing is purely partisan in nature to help the Democrats secure political power and to avoid accountability. I find the entire event utterly disgusting, not just because of the hypocrisy involved in pretending to care about police suddenly after you spent years cheering on the riots that injured over 2,000 and murdered around a dozen, but also because you brought in a dead officer's family to help you in this partisan charade. Not a fan of McCarthy or McConnell, but this is just a new low, and the only reason they can pull stuff like this off is because they have the help of the corrupt media. All right, folks, thanks for watching once again. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Also, make sure to leave a comment and vent some frustrations. Thanks a lot.